Two equal negatively charged objects repel each other with a force of 18 millinewtons. What is the charge on each object if the distance between them is 9 centimeters? How many extra electrons are in each object? This problem really shows the value of solving algebraically for your response before you start plugging numbers in. We start here with Coulomb's law, F equals K, absolute value of Q1, absolute value of Q2, divided by R squared. We know the two objects are equal. We also know they're negative. So we make this statement here, Q1 equals Q2. We put them into the equation here. The absolute value of a negative charge, of course, is still positive. So instead of these two absolute values, we have Q squared. We're trying to solve for Q. We multiply both sides of this equation by R squared and divide by K. So you'll have F R squared over K. Since I have a Q squared here, I take the square root of both sides and I get the square root of F times R squared over K. We put the force in. We change millinewtons to 10 to the minus 3. The distance, we change centimeters to 10 to the minus 2 meters. And then here's Coulomb's constant. We now multiply it all out and we get 127. Actually, your calculator will show something like 127 times 10 to the minus 9th, which we change to nan nanocoulombs. We now want to find out how many electrons are causing this charge. So we use this equation here, where the number of electrons is equal to your total charge times the charge per electron. So the way this would work out is if I have Q net, that's in coulombs, and then charge on an electron would be coulomb per how many electrons you have. These cancel out. This comes up to the top, and I'm left with number of electrons, which of course is what I have here. So you divide the answer, 127 times 10 to the minus 9th coulombs, by the charge on an electron. And if you forget what that is, that's no problem. You don't have to remember things like that. You can always Google that, look in your textbook, look online, whatever you'd like to do. And you now get 7.9 times 10 to the 11th electrons.